So today I'm making a video that a lot of people have been asking for. This will be a video on how to access privilege mode and install apps on your X22i implant trainer. And so I already powered it up. What I'll be doing is showing you how to access privilege mode. Then I'll be showing you how to install Netflix, Amazon Prime, and a couple other things that you might want to know. I tried to uh, include a few tidbits of information in here that might help. And if it does, great. I took some of the video using an actual app on here. It's already in privilege mode, but I'm going to show you what app. It's not work. It didn't really work very well, but it worked well enough for me to take some videos. It's called X Recorder. I'm going to look to see if I can find another one because this one is kind of uh, shaky. Sometimes it records, sometimes it doesn't. So, but I was using that to record. So what I'm going to do is hit pause, disable privilege mode, and then we're going to come back in and I'm going to show you how to access privilege mode, how to install Netflix, Amazon Prime. You can have fun looking for other apps to install. You'll notice that you have to use uh, certain websites like APK Pure and APK Mirror. There might be others that you know of because Google Play won't work on your Nordic track. I believe it's because it needs certain Google Play services that aren't installed. And this isn't a, your cell phone, so it's not going to work the same. All right, so I'm going to hit pause and when we come back, we will be out of here and we'll be in a normal environment for the X22i without privilege mode and then we'll proceed from there. Once again, today, I will be showing you how to access privilege mode so that you can access the desktop and install applications like Netflix and Amazon Prime so you can utilize your X22i or X32i, whichever one you have, to its full potential. All right, without further ado, here we go. In order to access privilege mode, which is the background Android environment that all this runs on. So just so you know, the iFit app is just an application that starts off. Uh, there's something called Launcher, and I don't want to get too uh, in depth, but whenever you power up your iFit, or I'm sorry, your Nordic Track treadmill, or your bike, it automatically boots up, and then this iFit application starts. Well, that's because this iFit application sits on an Android desktop or an Android platform, an Android operating system. And that operating system, I have noticed that it's different depending on whether you have an X22i or X32i, an older or newer machine. But this, what I'm going to show you, works regardless. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that you can access privilege mode. How do I know that I, I don't already have privilege mode? If you swipe up from the bottom, you notice I'm trying to swipe up from this black piece or swipe down from up here. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. So in order to access privilege mode, you're going to follow these steps. It's called the 10 tap procedure. We're going to tap 10 times somewhere on this screen. It doesn't have to be in maintenance mode. In the past, you would come here and then you'd go into settings and then you'd go into maintenance mode and then you do all your tapping here. And the reason people would tap here is because look at all the space. You're not going to mess anything up, but it's not necessary. Let's go back to the home screen and you can just tap anywhere alongside here where something that doesn't activate something else. Like you couldn't tap here, that would activate this video or here. So it's going to tap right here and we're going to tap 10 times, wait seven to eight seconds and then tap 10 times again. And then you'll see a little like pop-up that comes here that says privileged mode equals true. Once you see that, this beauty of a treadmill, you'll be able to use it to its full potential. Here we go, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's wait seven seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And lo and behold, set privileged mode to true. I, you know, I never get, it, that never gets old seeing that. Now when I swipe up, I've got three icons. I've got a triangle, a circle, and a square. What do these mean? If you haven't seen my videos before, the triangle means to go back. The circle means to go to the desktop, the Android desktop, the privileged mode desktop, and the square is, is a window. It shows you all the applications that are running in the background in a windowed format. Also, when you swipe down or you swipe 
I'm sorry, when you swipe up or swipe down from the top, you'll notice you also get a little banner up here. So let's swipe down. You'll see you get the date and the time. It shows your uh, wireless connection. And then if you swipe down again, it shows you a few other things. It shows you that the network you're connected to. If you have an X22i, it shows you that Bluetooth is on. If you want to turn it off, it's off. If you want to turn it back on, now it's on. You can also put it in airplane mode, which I would never have. I'm not, I have never messed with the location. And it looks like you can cast. If you click that, you can actually cast it to a different screen. But I've been told that this might not work with the X32i. And I don't have any devices right now. So let's come back. Let's get out of here. And so if you notice, I'm just going to click on the circle. And when you click on the, let's go back. The, the square shows you all the windows and hopefully I'll be able to get back to iFit, great. So if you pull up and then hit on the circle, you get, this is what you'll see the very first time you get into your desktop. You'll see this default wallpaper and you can change that later on. I'll, uh, there's other videos that you can watch that will show you how to change your wallpaper. And then when you click on this circle again, you've got all of this. Now you won't have all of this, but I will. And I've got other, and so from here on in, if you, I'm gonna hit pause and I've got some other videos that I'll tie into this showing you. So as you can see, Netflix and Prime Video are already installed, but I actually am going to rewind and show you how I got those there and how I got them to work, all right? Now that you know how to get into privilege mode, we can just go back to desktop, hit the square, and go back to iFit. And if nothing else is running, iFit usually comes back in. But iFit is a little uh, buggy when you when it's multi-processing and, and running with other applications. Uh, stay tuned so you can see the rest of how to access, uh, well, you've already seen how to access privilege mode, but now if you stay tuned, you'll, you'll watch uh, the steps to install Netflix, to install Prime Video, and unfortunately, I haven't gotten Disney Plus or uh, Hulu to work. So if, you've, if anybody knows how to get those to work, hey, I'll subscribe to your channel. <laughs> All right, you guys, hold on for the rest of this video. So once you can access privilege mode, you'll be swiping either up or down. From the top, you'll be swiping down, and from the bottom, obviously, you'll be swiping up. You'll see the three icons, a triangle, a circle, and the square. As discussed previously, the triangle is to go back, the circle is to go directly to the desktop, and the square is a representation of a window. It will show you all of the windows, all of the apps that are running. So let's go ahead and hit the circle. It will take us to the default desktop that you'll have once you enter privileged mode. You'll then wanna click on the circle with the six dots, and then you'll get to your Android desktop. And I want you to know yours will look a little different, obviously, because you'll only have the default basic apps. You won't have Chrome or any of these other apps that I have downloaded specifically for my desktop. So disregard any of the apps with a red cross. If you see an app that you'd like more information on, please comment below and I can always include it on one of my future videos. What you will see is a browser, you'll have a camera, you'll have a clock, you'll have the downloads folder, a gallery app and two iFit shortcuts. One, the iFit admin and the other iFit cardio. Actually, now it's just iFit. And you'll have a settings icon as well. So the very first thing that you'll be doing once you enter into privilege mode is you'll click on the settings icon. Then once you're in settings, you'll be clicking on the security option. The one thing you'll be doing afterwards, you will be checking the unknown sources option. Now, now yours might automatically be configured to be enabled, but if it isn't, go ahead and enable it because you need this to be enabled in order to install Netflix, Amazon Prime, or any other apps. Once enabled, you get this scary pop-up that's going to tell you you're vulnerable to attacks, unknown sources, are you sure, damage? Well, guess what? Just go ahead and hit OK. The reason you get that pop-up is because you do have to be careful whenever you're downloading from unknown sources. But if you download from places like APK Pure or APK Mira, you should be fine. All right, let's get back to the desktop so we can go ahead and proceed with installing apps like Netflix and Amazon Prime, since that's the reason you're here. 
First things first, let's go ahead and click on the circle. And then from here, let's open up a browser. And if your browser doesn't automatically open up to Google, go ahead and pause this video and get to Google so that we can go ahead and search for Netflix. If you'd like to make Google your homepage, then check this out. Do you see these three dots in the top right hand corner? Click on the three dots and then go to settings. From there, you can actually set your home page to be Google or any other page that you'd like. All right, you've waited long enough. So now it's time to search for Netflix. Once you have the Netflix login page, go ahead and log in with your Netflix account. And please subscribe so that you'll know when part two comes out and we can go ahead and install Netflix and Amazon Prime so you'll get the most out of your NordTrack machine.